<laughs> Belongs in Harry Potter. <laughs> Welcome back to Munich, everyone. <laughs> it's still our first day here in Munich. We're going to go out and we are going to get our first impressions, just walk around and explore. We haven't got anything planned. We're not going to Google where the sites are and head there. No, like, German food today, nothing no. like that. We are literally just going to go out and wander around without looking at maps or anything and see what we come across. Let's see what we find. But first of all, we'll show you our room. So we're paying £72 for two nights. So £36 a night. Not bad. £18 per person per night. Easy enough. This is what we're working with. Come in, we've got a nice little sink. We haven't got a bathroom, no private bathroom. It's shared. But we've got a sink and a mirror, which makes it handy for brushing teeth in the night and stuff. There is also some soap. Uh, we've got a little bit of a closet area, but it's like an open closet. Quite cool, actually. And then a workspace on the right-hand side. Probably do some editing there later. And then into our two twin beds. We also have a TV. Uh, and the best part of this, we have a balcony. So we've got these French doors that lead straight into the balcony. So we are on the fourth floor and we've got a lovely view of this nice street chair. How cool is that? This is our first like good city view, isn't it? With a yeah, balcony. Yeah, definitely. I didn't even think you'd get... Uh... I didn't think we'd get a balcony. I didn't think you could get balconies here in Munich, in, uh, especially in a youth hotel that we're in. But yeah, really cool. Really pleased with the room, but we're going to head out and explore. Well, as this room is a shared bathroom, we are going to go and find the showers and the toilet. So we have the sink, hair dryer, mirror. Oh, shower. Ooh, that's a pretty big shower. Not bad. Nice with the locked door. And this one. Oh, is another shower. I'm not sure where the toilet is then. Maybe the toilet's outside. Those are just showers, I can't find the toilet. Oh, this is a toilet. There we go. Little sink, little mirror again. Just left our hotel now, we're going to head into the old town and check out as much as we can of the old town just walking around and stuff. Yeah. There, yeah, it looks as if there's really cool buildings to check out, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Even just, we, we literally seen a couple as we arrived and just the different styles of buildings around us is crazy. Yeah. Okay, we've just come to this massive open like square area it's like big half circle we've got the main road and trams going down there but then there's these cool city like i want to say like city gates and it's almost like a castle isn't it yeah it's really cool like a, like a castle you expect like a child to draw <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Like, ask a child to literally, look like. the two things and like it literally looks like a child has designed it. That's <laughs> that's perfect. I was thinking like, oh, it looks like a castle, but like that is a flat out how a child would draw a castle. Yep. Just exactly like that. Maybe not quite the arch in the middle. That might be a bit too fancy, but yeah. definitely the top part. It's really cool. Though. It's almost like. Splits the old town from the rest of the yeah, city. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like it? an entrance into the old town. It's massive as well. And then you've just got all the old style buildings then all the way down. But yeah, really cool, huh? <laughs> walking down what seems to be like one of the main shopping streets now it looks like got some shopping mall sort of thing there just shops all the way around a couple of restaurants cafes yeah you've got a mixture of sort of high street shops 
and the more expensive shops too. I think exactly. you've got Michael Kors there. There's a couple of them being now in the way. And everywhere you look, you've just got some sort of tall like tower clock or some cool building on every street. Yeah. It seems the architecture is really, really cool in the old town here. Yeah. yeah, it's really unique. But we are just wandering around, walking down where street to be fancy. Yeah. I love how, although this building is under construction, they've put what it looks like on the outside of the scaffolding as well. Yeah. So you can just imagine what it looks like even when it's not under construction because that's that's what it looks like. Yeah. It's good to get you an idea yeah. of what it does look like. And it just doesn't look ugly construction, scaffolding. No. It keeps uh, it. actually looks quite nice. It's looking quite fresh. <laughs> Yeah, we've come to another big square. We've got the church building there. Uh, there is a monument there. Some the old buildings here. And a big square. And I think there's some gardens in here. So we're going to take a look in there. But it looks as if there's more like downtown sort of skyscraper buildings all the way in the distance down there. So far, we've only really seen the old town, but everything looks really clean. Really nice architecture, really old, isn't it? Yeah. I think the most uh, grand entrance of a sort of park garden type thing that I've seen before, you know? What's crazy to think about is we were in Istanbul just a few hours ago and it was actually colder there than it was here. And it was even colder when we were in Antalya, it was down to six degrees. It's actually eight degrees here. Just come into the garden area now. You've got this big grand building there. A long track of trees other side and then this cool little I don't even know what it is in the middle some sort of some fun facts about the Diana temple it's called it was created in the 1600s and it is in the center of the Hoft Gardens this is so quiet here like when you're on the streets in the old house it's really busy but like you come into here and it's just dead quiet it's so lovely yeah there's no cars no trams no buses around so it's just peaceful and I think to myself and I'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing else for the rest of us so it looks like we've come across the designer street now this street is filled with designer shops from Versace, Dolce Gabbana, Jimmy Choo there is loads of them this street is very similar to the one in Budapest yeah it looks a lot posher well, yeah. the one in Budapest looked posh, but this looks really posh. Like, All the buildings are the same, like, almost like beige colour. Yeah, and then you've just got the glass windows then all along, full of the designer things. And it's really long as well, so it stretches from right up there, all the way down to the big building in the back. Now, I don't know what that building is, but it looks important. It does. <laughs> but we're going to take a walk along and just see what we come across. We'll probably head towards that building to check that out. Yeah, might cool. as well. Okay, and at the end of the designer street, you've got this underpass that's oh. deserted and there's just loads of graffiti on it. Okay. Oh, yeah. How creepy would this be in the, na in the dark and then you've just got these two tables with some lights on? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd keep this place a bit more clean looking considering it's right at the end of a street with all designer shops in and when you come up these steps you've got this Massive grand building that looks huge. Is that what it is? It's just, o just offices. What? Looks like a palace. And there's another one across the other side. There we've got the Isar River, and there is a cycle track all the way along, and it also goes that way. Which looks pretty nice to uh, cycle along. Yeah, I even walk down.
So this is the Bavarian State Parliament building, which is absolutely nuts because it looks like something that belongs in Harry Potter. It's absolutely huge. And they're actually doing work on it construction-wise with the prints. So as always, everything we see is got some sort of construction going on. But I think we're going to head down around under here and then we'll down the river that way to the old town. Old town. Just walking down this walkway next to the river now and you've got like another canal a bit for there on that side. It's quite cool isn't it? Yeah it's mad to think that it does whilst walking along here it doesn't even feel like you're in a big huge city because it's just so quiet. It does make you feel like you're more in nature doesn't it? You've just got like some trees there, the river there but literally the tram is just on that bridge back there. You can't really hear as much, like nowhere near as much. You can't hear the hustle and the bustle of the city at all. But one thing it looks like Munich does really well. Again, it's a city in Europe that does it really well, is the parks and the green space. There seems to be a couple of massive parks that we'll be checking out tomorrow yeah. in our top things to see because they are on the list. On yeah, even on TripAdvisor, two of the top ten things are these two big parks. So we're checking them out. One is the Olympic one and one is the English Gardens, which is the biggest I think. Yeah. So we're heading over there to check them out. But just down here is really cool. You've got this next to the old town along the river, loads of people jogging, loads of people walking a dog. It just doesn't feel like you're in a city, it feels like I'm in a little town somewhere. It's just a really nice place. Okay, so we are in Munich for a few more days, so don't forget to hit subscribe and follow along on our little journey if you are new here. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. But we're not ending it just yet. We are going to walk back into the centre of the old town and look for a little shop, I think. Yeah, just to get some bits for tonight because we have quite a big lunch. So just a few little snacky bits for tonight, I think will do us fine. Yeah, but so far, really... Really impressed. Really, yeah, it's impressive, the old town is. Everything's so clean, so grand so unique as well like you turn a corner and there's like a bunch of normal ish sort of buildings and you turn a corner and there's this like big colorful grand archi whatever you want to call it building whether it's a church <laughs> uh, a political building but, but by the normal buildings Kelsey's referring to these huge grand buildings anyway yeah so very normal ish they're not very normal because they're very impressive as well and they're all like different colors of like beige and yellow and white it's very cool yeah orange beige yeah. white yellow very much like in Munich so far very Bavarian style obviously yeah which makes sense which makes sense but yeah, we've got loads of places to check out, a list of places to check out tomorrow. Um, We're going to have so a big long day walking tomorrow. That's going to be a long day. And then we're going to do a food tour the next day and try some German food. Yeah, so we're going to have to do some research maybe tonight and tomorrow. Make sure we uh, try some good German food. We're on the opposite end of the old town to where the castle building was and there's another city gate this one's called the Isar one because it's by the Isar river but it's got two huge sort of like tower areas and it's got the big wall in the middle and it's got the three arches and then what makes this one a bit different is when you come through the first arch you've got another set of three arches and it's almost like a square and there's a big clock up there a clock tower. It's really cool. So we've just come to the bit of the square that we first seen when we came up from the train. And this building really reminds me 
of one of the buildings in the Grand Place in Belgium. It's so similar and I'd imagine in the night as well it would look just as pretty all lit up as they did yeah. in, the, in, the, in the Grand Place. I can imagine it being really lit up. It's definitely the same sort of style building I guess that one. It is isn't it? It would fit in there. Yeah definitely like a really cool place especially it was our first thing we seen when we came up and th there have been some really cool buildings and like the architecture has been really cool like that we've seen today. Yeah. But and we barely touched the surface. This one building is probably the best. Yeah. And it's in, right in the square. And I think it was actually on our list to see tomorrow, but we've already ticked it off, so oh, we might not even see it tomorrow now. Doesn't matter. Guys, we're just back in the hotel room now. We picked up some snacks. We've got a lot of editing, so we're going to get that done tonight. And then tomorrow won't be as bad then. We can just spend the whole day exploring. Picked up a sausage roll. I wonder if it's going to be different because, you know, the sausage is in German, the breakfast. So hopefully the German sausage will be good. <laughs> it's not sausage. It's just a sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, from the shop. And we pick it up in the morning.